Hi, I'm Pirateer SJL, and welcome to my series of videos entitled Ways to Eat Your Pie. The thinking behind this is just to demonstrate how versatile pies are. I mean, there's, there's a limitless amount of fillings you can put in a pie, um, but there's also a limitless amount of ways that you can, you can eat your pie. Um, as, as I hope to demonstrate, there's no reason to ever get bored of eating pie. There's basically, there's no reason to eat anything that isn't a pie. Um, so in this video, I'm going to be eating uh, Clark's original pie. This is a potato and beef uh, flavour. I'm quite excited to get hold of this because these, these pies have quite a formidable reputation. They're produced in Cardiff and uh, yeah, by all accounts, the locals do love them, so uh, let's just get this one out of the oven. It's a nice touch about this pie, you can see uh, in the bottom it's got clar pie uh, embossed into the foil. There's a, quite a bit of an air gap in there, it's not, it's not the biggest capacity, because what it has got is this really thick pastry. Um, I have had it before and it is, it's a unique experience. That's uh, that pastry is so thick, it's biscuity and crunchy in a way that no other pastry is, which is quite quite a nice taste. But um, ones I've had before haven't have had a better filling than this. That's slightly disappointing, that air gap. So you might be wondering, you know, pirate or SDL, that's just a normal pie. What are you going to do differently today? That's uh, a unique way to eat a pie. I mean, you've you've said this is a, a video on uh, new ways to eat your pie. Well, I'll, I'll show you what I'm going to do. Um, here you can see what I'm going to, to do today. I have put this pie in the blender and I'm going to turn it on. It seems that pie doesn't really blend very well. I think I'm going to have to shake this up a bit. So, so far, um, I just seem to have broken the blender. I don't know what it is about this pie, if it's particularly solid, but this bit fell off the blender and it's, it's not doing anything. So I think I'll go for a bit of hand blending. So it might have taken a while. I had to put a bit more gravy with it, but there you go. That is my pint of pie, fully liquidised. And you might wonder, well, why do you want to do that? But uh, you know, sometimes maybe you just, you just can't be bothered to, to chew. Um, and to, to save you know, that, that effort of mastication at all, why not just liquidise your pie and, um, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it and see, see how it goes. That is, that is delicious. I don't know if you've ever tried one of these um, popular meaty drinks, um, but this is even better, It's it's got substance to it as well. The, the, the taste of the pastry is definitely there um, and you know that that was slipped down great you know on a cold um, winter's evening like it is now uh, why not just grab yourself a pint of pie and um, you know sit in front of the TV imagine the possibilities as well you could have a pint of pie in one hand and a pint of beer in the other hand this Clark's pie doesn't have any any chewiness. It's got great sort of consistency. It really slips down easy, and the content is is good. It's uh, I have tried this pie uh, not in liquidised form, and the the taste um, of the filling is really meaty rather than potatoey. Despite the fact that it's it's minced beef, it still manages to come across as really meaty. So I finally finished my pint of pie. <clears throat> it was quite heavy actually, um, but I, I really enjoyed it.